In May of this year, I came across a call for help online looking for donations and sponsors for the Central Florida Children's Home mini makeover. I noticed that all the other rooms in the house were taken care of, the children's hallway, the boys' hallway, the living room, but the main parts of the home where they gathered, where they break bread, no one was claiming. So Jeff and I decided to take over the kitchen and the dining room. Our next step was to figure out how we were going to do this. <laughs> Who's going to give us granite and cabinets and countertops and flooring at the last minute? because most of the time vendors and businesses have this earmarked already like months in advance. The fact that we got even what we had was a miracle in itself. And everything came and worked out. It did, it worked out. There were hundreds of people in the house. We had locals, strangers, complete strangers, um, asking to borrow a hammer, you know, asking to have some help installing this. We didn't know each other at the beginning, but by the end of the week, total strangers were friends and comrades. I wanted to, to put my heart and soul into this project because my grandfather grew up in a boys and girls home in Rapid City, South Dakota. At his passing, he gave all of his wealth that he had accumulated over the years back to the boys and girls home there in Rapid City. And I know that the kids would love uh, to have a nice place to, to eat, a nice place to sleep and a nice place to make the dinners. And also somewhere for the kids to come home every day and be appreciative and be proud of where they live. These kids, man, seeing their faces when they first walked in the home, priceless. It was worth all of the days and all the sweat equity we put into this. When something tugs at your heart, um, whether, and let's, we can talk about faith for a little bit, it could be God, it could be the universe, whatever draws you and sets your moral compass. That's kind of what you need to do when you can't shut that voice off. And that's what happened to me. It was just an automatic, yes, we're gonna do it, and we'll figure out how we're gonna do it on the way. We actually wanted to do the work. Um, the same feeling that when it tugged on our hearts to say yes, that stayed throughout the whole time. We didn't want to just write a check and just be disconnected from it. We wanted to be part of the makeover. We wanted to be part of making this house the kids live in a home.